My name's Andrew Laidlaw, I'm the landscape architect with the Royal Botanic Gardens Melbourne and I basically am involved in designing a lot of the new projects. The Greening the Gardens or the Working Wetlands was a project we started planning about four years ago and it's been an incredibly important project for really bringing better water quality, habitat value as well as allowing us to keep these gardens green. So it had so many layers to it that it was very exciting to be able to be involved in this project. Stage one of this project was to redevelop Guilfoyle's volcano. Guilfoyle basically built a reservoir at the high point of the gardens and we would pump the water up from the Yarra River and then we would gravity feed the gardens through hose taps. That fell into disrepair because basically we were connected to Maine's water and we didn't need it anymore. So from about 1930 it just completely got locked off and nobody knew it was there. Four years ago as part of this project we redesigned it and we redeveloped it into the volcano that it is today, but it's performing its function. So we pump the water up from the lake up to the volcano, the water gets treated there, and then it winds its way back down to the Nymphaea Lake. With stage two, we get an extra 70 meg of storm water into our lake system, but it comes in really heavily polluted because it's coming off the roads and roofs of the suburbs around us. One of the large problems we have in our modern landscape where we've increased all our hard surfaces is that the water now flows over those surfaces, it doesn't percolate through the ground. So by bringing it and diverting it into our lake system and our wetland system, we're slowing that rate down and we're actually using it to water the garden. So it's a fabulous project. So this project has been made up of three stages. The first part was actually building the volcano and bringing some floating islands into the water system. The second stage was actually connecting to this extra 70 meg of storm water and bringing all this extra water into our larger lake system. And hopefully the third stage will be about connecting to another water source and we're not sure what that will be. And that will basically take us off drinking water completely. So second stage, which is all this treatment you see in front of us and the extra 70 meg is taking us about 40% off the drinking water. We hope one day to be 100% off. A major component of the working wetlands was to circulate the water. In circulating the water, we're aerating the water and that's very important in controlling things like blue-green algae. But the other amazing value of that is it brings water into the fern gully and we haven't had water in the fern gully for about 10 years due to drought and other problems we just haven't had water flowing through here. Working wetlands has brought many things to the gardens. It's cleaned up our water, it's slowed the rate of the water down, it's brought water into the fern gully, it's bring water into the volcano but primarily it allows us to keep our gardens green. Thank <laughs> you.